Hello everyone, if you are managing a project and want to group tasks based on their milestones or phases for tracking progress, then creating multiple groups is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be used for budgeting, sales and marketing, data analysis, employee management and educational purposes. So this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create multiple groups in Excel. Before going into the method, let's talk about the data set a bit. At first, we have the names of the salespersons, the month names, and the sales here in column B, C, and D. Our target is to create multiple groups in Excel by using four methods. For this whole tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 for better understanding. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll create multiple groups with keyboard shortcut. At first, we'll go for the D8 cell and here we have the first quarter result. Before doing any kind of multiple groups, we need to get the total values. So we'll use the sum function to get the values here. So we'll write down the sum function to sum up the values and select the cells of D5 to D7 and then press the enter button to get the total result. The same for the D12 cell. We'll again go for the equal sign and use the sum function and add the total values of D9 to D11. After that, we'll get our perfect total sum of the cells of first quarter and second quarter. Now, select row 5 to row 7, then press Alter, Shift and right arrow and here you have your perfect group section. You can do the same for row 9 to row 11 and again press Alter, Shift and right key then it will also collapse. If you click the minus sign then it will collapse into Alex total sum and if we sign minus again then it will show the minus sign of total group of robot. If you click on the plus sign, then it will show the total values here in this section. So that's how we can create multiple groups with keyboard shortcut in Excel. We can also do the same job by using the group command. At first, we'll again go for the row 5 to row 7 portion. Go for the data tab. Here, we'll find the outline section. We'll go for the group and select the group here. After that, it will create the grouping section in row 5 to row 7. We can do the same for row 9 to row 11. Go for the data tab again and here in the outline section, go for the group and select the group here to group the whole section. If you click the minus sign, then it will collapse again and show the groups only. If you click the plus, then it will show the whole group in this section. Now, in the same way, we can do for columns also. Suppose we have a data set where we have the year or month in column B, the name of the month in the row 4 and whole data cell section. Other than that, we have the quarter 1 total sum in the F column and quarter 2 in J column. We want to create multiple groups here in the group command. To do that, at first, we'll go for the selective rows we want to use. Suppose we want to group the column C, D and E. Go for the data tab again and in the outline section, you'll go for the group and select the group. Then it will create the grouping section. You can easily do this for column G, H and I. Go for the data tab again and in the outline section select the group then it will create another group here so that's how we can easily do this if you click on it then it will collapse again and it will show that if you click on the plus sign then it will show the full result so that's how you can use the group command to do the job here now we'll apply auto outline to do the same job at first, we'll go for the B8 cell here in the data tab, go for the outline and in this section of group, we'll select the auto outline. Then it will auto create multiple group here. If you click on the minus sign, it will collapse. If you click on the plus sign, then it will show 
the whole group section. You need to remember that if your data set is formatted properly, only then the auto outline will work. If the data set is not formatted properly, that no matter how you use it, the auto outline won't work here. So that's applying auto outline for you. Now we'll use the pivot table to create multiple groups in Excel. To do that, we'll go for the B4 cell and here we'll go for the insert tab, go for the pivot table and if you click on it, then select the from range or table option. And now it will show the pivot table from table or range section dialog box. Here you need to check whether the selection have been made correctly or not. Then go for the existing worksheet and select the cell where you want to show your output. After that, click OK to get the pivot table fields in the right section here. You need to tick the sales person, month and their sales properly here. After that, you'll see at the left side in the F4 cell, it is showing the result. If you need to modify them, then select the cells of F4 to G15, go for the home tab and select on the font section all borders. If you click on all borders, then it will show it. Suppose you need to go for the accounting side, then select the whole section again, go for the home tab and in the number section, you can easily select the accounting number format, then it will show the accounting number format. If you click on the minus sign, then it will collapse. If you click on minus sign, it will again collapse. But if you click on the plus sign, then it will show the full results. So that's how we can easily create multiple groups by using the pivot table. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly. Or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelimi.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.